Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Braytone. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing guys the best settings for the Citra Emulator. But before we get started this video, please make sure guys you like, like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel because it greatly helps the channel a lot. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. Now, first things first, I do need to make you guys keep in mind that the Citra Emulator and the Citra emulator team is the same people that made the Yuzu emulator. So in hindsight, in my mind, I'm thinking that over the past year, the configuration settings has been a very advanced throughout the years of the Citra emulator. And boy, I was wrong. So in the configuration settings, um, <laughs> we go to emulation and go to configure, um, go to system. There's nothing you can do much. The graphics tab. Now the graphics tab is probably the most important part of this because the system tab and audio tab and in general, there's not much you can do if you compare it to the user emulator now. It's two different things, way different things. Maybe you can do more due to the fact that the Switch, the Nintendo Switch is obviously a more powerful system than the 3DS. That's why you can do more, but overall, it looks pretty disappointing if you compare it to Yuzu. So internal resolution is all about scale scaling. So if you want to play games in 4K or any high uh, native, if your PC is capable of doing it, you can play all the way to 4K, 5K, 6K, 7K, and then the game will look really, really nice. So that's one thing you can mess around with the settings, but I would basically put pick um native on 4x which is 4k um leave this into default settings and then we go to the advanced tab uh, everything here is basically good default settings is basically good and that's basically it when it comes to configuration settings not much you can do really really lackluster really bare bones but when you get to the real um, scaling is through your NVIDIA control panel. So this is for the basic NVIDIA user. So you left click, go to your NVIDIA control panel. I'm gonna wait it out. It takes a while for it to pop up, especially when I'm recording. It's gonna be a little bit slow. Okay, you're gonna set um, to set configuration. Obviously you're gonna pick your graphics card. Um, adjust MS settings with preview. Um, use my preference effort sizing. I always pick performance because I rather get the best gameplay I possibly can when I'm playing any game on my PC. That's what I bought a gaming PC for. To play games at the best speed, best performance as possible. And then manage 3D settings. And we get to manage 3D settings, we go to high in the video processor, leave it like that. And then you go down, make sure you guys have the same thing as me. But since the Citra emulator is not that strong of an emulator, uh, the settings, these settings should work for like 95% of you guys, if you have a really good graphics card. And then it goes to program settings. And then as you get to program settings, uh, high performance in the video processor. Make sure you guys have the same thing as me. You can pause the video if you like. All right, as I go up. All right, you're gonna add Citra emulator. Yeah, I had to select the program. You apply it. Then you close that out. Now, really, um really neat thing I'm gonna showcase you guys is something called uh, the cheat code speed hack. Most popular games that's on the 3DS basically have this. So like say for example, this is gonna basically work in your cheat code um, box. Uh, let's go, say for example, X and Y. Go to text, control F and put something called speed. 
So then, like you said, like a little speed chico you can put in during your games, which is pretty could be pretty helpful when your performance on the game, make it relatively fast. And something for like the current game I have on Switch I'm there, Animal Crossing New Leaf. That's something I like the speed hack. You just copy in this. So when you're playing the gameplay, just copy this. And while you're playing the game, just open it up. Go to the cheat tab and create a new cheat, add it, save it, and that's basically about it. So those are the best settings for the Switch emulator. Show you guys some little tricks, some little workarounds, some little speed hacks to improve your performance during the uh, when you're playing your games, no matter what it is on the Switch emulator. So yeah, that's basically about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, find this video any helpful at all. Feel free to leave a like, leave a like share, and also subscribe, guys, into the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Brayton. I see you guys in the next video. Peace out.